our surprisingly small but favorite Martian, the gray tree frog. That peeping Tom Thumb you may have exposed on a window one night, oogling your mom by the moon, or looking very hungover in the morning. A spongy little gnome with a sly and sleepy gaze and suction pad on every toe. Who must have fell from outer space? But no, he just crept down from the trees. The gray tree frog, who made the move up from the original pad, who wasn't content on a lateral log, squatting in mud like a down-and-out cad, or up to his eyeballs in simmering slime, viewing nothing but swamp all the time. And that's where he sprang from his bath with Eureka and all his new math. He'll acquire some alp in his gear and hang with the birds in the trees, take in the sights and the breeze, and sing for the whole world to hear. So he mastered the tree climber's arts. He's come to top all but the charts, what Warbler would say he can sing. And yet near the heart of the spring, when he drops to his homies to spawn, he's not received like some long-lost Mallory. No, here's Gray, they affirm with a yawn, the frog from up in the peanut gallery. But Gray? That's like calling a starlet blonde. He's only Gray when Gray's the most. True, there he is on your window in his gray flannel suit. But now he's composed on a leaf and as green as our dreams of Eden. Look at the tree hugger squeezing an oak. He's the spitting image of a mottled lichen. He's down on bare earth, clay brown. On forest floor, olive stippled black. A very moony night. He's as sheet white as a bullfrog ghost. But by dawn he's back on your pane like a brooch made of pearl. No frog dresses smarter or keeps his tailor as busy, and all to be his own iconoclast. After all, he's only ever invited to dinner to be on the menu. His two inspiring idols are Lady Gaga and the Invisible Man. Every day's end is the end for the gray tree frog. You've heard him past sundown, haven't you? The horror, the horror, is what he bleats in his schoolmarm soprano hysterics, making the homiest woods seem haunted. And if daybreak briefly consoles him, he's barely forgiven the risen sun for its reckless departure when it's sinking in the west once again. Now, if some have heard in those shivering cries a latent fear of heights, wait for the sequel to his great leap upward when at the nearest pass of his branch he vaults to our favorite wanderer and becomes the moon frog, the gray moon frog, the very first frog on the moon. Tranquility base here. The eagle has landed. Roger, Twink. Tranquility, we copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot.